In this video, we'll see how to play with your font into your Excel using the macro part. So for example, playing with the font, I'm trying to say you, like if you have written some text into your cells and if you want to make it as bold, italic, underline, or if you want to change the font name, okay, or if you want to do some underlining part or strike through anything, you can do with the help of this macro part. Though it is easy from here, but if you want to automate that process, how you can do with the help of macros. So let us see that. Now, if you see, I'm using the same Excel VBA workbook, okay, which I've already created with the first session. Now I've created a sheet that is E underscore font. Okay. Now I'll be writing a macro in that place in the VB editor. So I'll open this VB editor. Now, if you see, I've created a E underscore font module. How do you create a module? Go to insert and click on this module. And then you can rename that module part. After I create a module, it was earlier blank. I've created a sub procedure font. Okay. You can change the name instead of font 5, 10, 20, whatever name you want, you can give it font 10, font 20. I've written something as range A1 to A10 equal to totals. So I've written some data, some text into that. Because unless you have a text, you cannot do the other part like bold, italic, underline. You will not come to know. Next, I'll go to the next line. Now I'll show you if you want to change the name of the font, how do you do that? Okay. But before that, yeah. So I'll just type as range A1 to A10 dot font. Now what exactly is dot font? It is an object which is inside this object. This is nothing but a cell, A1 to A10. These are all cells. In that cells, obviously you'll have some text. That is nothing but a font, okay? With that font, I'll just type here as dot. What do you want to do with that font? So do you want to make it as bold, italic, underline or what? So if you want to make it as bold, just type as bold. You see from here, the bold is selected. If you want to make it as italic, you can just search as italic. You'll get the italic part and so on. If you're not sure what exactly you want to do, you can just keep on searching from this area. See bold, color, color index, background, and if you see size, name, so on, you'll get all the options. Right now, if I want to change the name of the font, what I can do is I can just select here name and I can press tab equal to, in double quotes, you can just type the name. Right now, I want the name as Arial. Yeah, I'll just write here as Arial close. Similarly, if I want to make it as bold, I'll just type as A1 to A10 dot font dot font dot bold equal to true because bold can be either true or false. Okay. Because if you see here bold, if you can click or you don't click, that's only one option. Whereas in the font you have, you click on this drop down, you'll get a list of all the options. Same way. If you want, you can write as range A1 to A10 dot font dot. I want to change the size equal to 20. Okay. So this way you can keep on writing all these things. So this is one method which I've given. Similarly, I've written few things at the bottom. If I scroll down, I'll show you what I've written. I've written all these areas. Let me take time to explain you. I'll just bring it on the top. I'll just press delete from my keyboard like this. So it will come on the top. Yeah. Okay. Similarly, if you see font.name, I've added two different names. If you observe here, font.name, font.size equal to 20, font.bold equal to true and false, italic true and false. Okay. It went, I have to bring that back. Yeah. So again, if you see font.italic true, font.italic false, font.underline. So if you observe carefully, if you're a non-developer, if you're finding it very difficult, what you can do is see here, range A1 to A10 is common everywhere. Font is common everywhere. If you see, Based on that, whatever you want, if you want bold, you see from here, there is given as bold, italic, underline. Similarly, you just type as dot name, dot underline, dot bold, dot size, dot anything, whatever you want, you can write. And next equal to, you'll get all the options. Obviously, you have to keep on practicing till you get perfect with this. Okay. So like this, you can keep on writing. Now, if I'll execute that, if I want to execute step by step, use the shortcut key F8 from a keyboard, F8 or else on this debug toolbar, you see there's an option given as step into. I'll press F8 from my keyboard or I can just click on this place. Okay. Now if you see that's given as step eight. Now again, if I click on this place, A1 to A10, I'll get the data here. If I press step into that is A1 to A10, I've got the data again. Now it is, I want to change the name to as Arial, the font name as Arial. If I keep my cursor at this place, now it is Calibri. And if I go back, if I press F8, you see now the font changed to Arial. Okay. Same way, I want this to be as bold equal to true. So if you see it is not at bold, observe here. 
okay if i click on step into now you see it became bold here also it became bold so now i'll use the shortcut key f8 from my keyboard and step by step everything will be executed so you can observe what is happening live f8 font size 20 name changed observe here name changed again i'll press f8 size equal to 20 here here it is already 20 so no need of changing again bold equal to true false italic true false you see this i am pressing f8 from a keyboard underline true false you see underline again there's one more thing which is left strike through if you want a strike through on this place press f8 again you can press f8 to make it false and finally you can press the end sub that is partly done here okay so i hope you're able to understand how to play with your font it's very very simple very easy observe the syntax practice it multiple times and you'll be able to do it properly right that's all for this video